Welcome back to more Final Fantasy Explorers, everybody. So last time, we defeated Shiva twice, not once, but twice. And we also did a mission in which we defeated a random behemoth. Oh wait, there's actually three areas, my bad. I guess I could have done this in the end of the last episode, because now I'm going to make you all sit through 30 seconds of garbage, you know? So let me just run through here. Okay, so as I was saying, um... I'm going to fight a Frit for the second time now, but before I keep going... Where's my friends, dude? I'm just waiting for my AP to fill all the way. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Alright, so here we go. Battle number two against Ifrit. Wait, am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. I wasn't sure. For a second there, I thought I wasn't recording. So like I was saying at the end of the last episode, the first time I fought Ifrit, I was pretty stupid. Whereas with Shiva, I was not. Maybe if I actually take things a little easier here, a little better, you know. I might have some better luck on this guy, I'm just saying. Okay, it's because his attacks are a little more, like, he chases you so it's difficult to get close. I feel like it would be easier if I had a frit with, like, a magic user, you know? Yeah, see, those moves like that, that's what I'm talking about. I didn't even do that, I already started off battle. Wow. Okay, so screen. Let's do, yeah sure, let's do that. I don't even know what that is, but let's do it. See, that's what I'm saying, like, it's really difficult to actually evade his attack when you're close. Whereas with Shiva, it was easier because she was like long range, you know? Hellfire. You already did it, but okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. Time to go to die. That's not good. Okay. Wait a little bit. See, that one... Okay, that's the move that's Hellfire. Well, no, okay, honestly, it was the equipment. That's what it was. I was just under level. I'm noticing this. Even though I'm taking damage, I'm taking less now because I have more defense and magic defense, and I'm doing a lot more because of better equipment. So it was just because I was under leveled and not properly equipped. That's gonna be my guess. Yeah, see, because I'm demolishing this guy very fast, and there's nothing he can do about it. Oh, okay. Another crystal surge. I'm gonna do. Let's do hyperspeed, sure. Okay. Hellfire. Ooh, that one's good. That was probably gonna kill me there. Wow. I think the game's lagging. Did you see that? It actually slowed down there. That was ridiculous. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick break over here. Go this way. Wait until he. There we go, and then he's going again. Now we're just gonna wait. Wait, wait it's too fast. Sure. What the heck? Okay. There we go. Should be the kill right here. Yep. Got him. See, it was all the equipment, that's why I sucked the first time, because I had not actually made any effort to get the better equipment, you know? Okay. I think that's it, let me just check. Yeah, seems so. Okay, this leaves Rama now, and I gotta fight Rama twice in this episode. Unfortunately, that's kind of boring, you know, seeing him twice, but... What can you do, right? Yeah, like I keep saying, the main criticism of this game is the repetitiveness. It's very repetitive. Not just when, like, I'm not talking about just fighting the same enemies multiple times, including Eidolons, but also the gameplay is just very... It can get old really fast if you're not a fan of this type hey. of genre, you know? Alright, so let's see. Main quest. Those are the last two I can do. Well, that, that one's actually dry, so I'm gonna do Rama and then Rama again. Sure. Defeat Rama. So, I don't know where the hell this guy is. 
Embark? What the heck? Well, that's gonna be quite a journey, but I need to get over there. So after I go here, I then need to go west, apparently? Okay. I mean, sure, I'll go west, whatever. I just haven't explored beyond this point yet, you know? Okay, so I think I need to go that way. It's the only exit I see. Wait, there's actually one up north, too. Oh, man. Hopefully it's this way, then. It's not blocked, so that's good. Del Antoni Boltway, yeah, that, that should actually be the right way. Yep, there we go. Oh, that wasn't that far. I, th I thought there would be like two more errors before that. Okay. Here's a geyser. Okay, so let's see, just run up north here. I don't know how many zones there actually are, but I'm gonna guess three. Because most of these places do always have three. So in the end of area three, what I'm gonna do is wait for my AP to refill up. All the way up. Oh, nice, very easy area to traverse here. Yeah, because aren't these rooms randomly generated? I feel like they are. These that say like area one, two, and three. I could also be very wrong about what I just said right there, and it might actually be the same thing, and I'm just not really paying attention. Oh wait. Bird bone. I just got three bird bones. Nice. Um... This way? Yeah, sure. Go around, go up north through these flans. It's right up here. Okay, so what I have to do is fight, I think, this guy here. Oh, you too? There we go. Alright, wait for the AP to go all the way to the top. There we go. And I'm good. Full HP, full AP. Let's take on Rama. Let's see how he looks in this game. Looks uh, more lion-like, less humanoid. Or more beast-like, I should say. Okay, I also I love this battlefield. Oh god, he's targeting me already. Here we go. Thunder? Okay, so Thunder has a little targeting thing. Oh, I should have actually boosted. Oh! That is very interesting. This guy has a different gimmick. He's immune to physical attacks. Oh, I see. Okay. So during certain times, he's immune to physical attacks. It kind of just depends. Wait, what? Why are you, why are you targeting him? I think maybe that's going to be useful. I don't want to do that. I need a boost. Damn it, this guy warps though. He's gonna be tough, I can already tell you that. Because you gotta be running to him all the time. He can thunder. Oh, what, he's stunned? What do I got? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do... I'm gonna do Mega Drain. Ah, uh, yes, I love this because he gives you AP back. I love this move. Okay, just be aggressive. Release its power, I don't give a shit. Just keep, keep doing stuff, keep doing stuff. So yeah, just keep getting HP, getting everything back. Keep going, keep going. Judgment Bolt, okay, actually, hold on, hold on. Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that it's just random oriented. Yeah, ju Judgment Bolt is his ultimate move, in case you didn't know that. Just like Shiva's Diamond Dust and uh, Ifrit's Hellfire. Is, but I'm gonna move this one. Oh my god. Sweep. I don't care. Okay, he's not that tough. In the beginning though, it was I was I thought he was gonna keep putting his shield back up randomly, and I was like, oh man, that's not good. But he actually has has not put it back at all since. Damn, look okay, at that one was actually pretty hard, but that one got me. Shiny has been disabled. 
I just gotta win Magicist, okay? Let me take it slowly here for a little bit. He's gonna teleport, that's fine. I'm just gonna talk right in the meantime. Okay. Hyper speed. God damn it. I'm paralyzed. Um, Light Affinity, Giant. I wanna do Giant, right? Or Hyper Speed. I'm gonna do Giant. Here we go. Why aren't you targeting him? That's not good. This took a lot of damage. Judgment Bolt. Oh no. God, I mean I healed but then I took damage again. So that was kind of... I have, I'm down to 7 HP. Heal me. Okay. It's not bad. That's not bad. There we go. Okay, keeping aggressive, keeping aggressive. Pull back. Oh damn it, he has a shield up again. Wait. Wait, no, 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 he doesn't. No, he doesn't. I thought he did. Ooh. Well, I'm I'm already in the zone, so I'm gonna stay here. Almost dead. Got you. Yeah, no, I mean, honestly, from the three, I want to say Shiva's the easiest. But again, it depends on the job rule, because, like I was saying, if Frit is very deadly up close, Shiva's not. So, if you have, like, a warrior or a monk, if Frit is deadlier because you're forced to be close, if you actually attack from range with, like, a black mage, if Frit doesn't look all that bad, because his ranged attacks are easy to avoid, you know? With Shiva, it's different. It seems that if you're actually far against Shiva, that you'll have a harder time with, like, because, you know, he uses all these different things, like the permafrosting, which is a long-range tackle, the blizzard spells, diamond does, everything's long-range, but short-range, she doesn't really do anything, you know? I mean, yeah, she'll use those long-range attacks short-range, but they're not that deadly because you're close and you can surround her easily, you know? But that's kind of what I got, you know, this, it does depend on the job a lot. Ramak seemed like a mix between both, because he had a lot of long, long range too, but also short range, but he seemed to be deadlier or short range as well. Okay, so... Defeat Dryan. Or defeat Rama again. And I'll get Stiltskin's Diary. Hmm. I'm gonna do this one again. New quest. Well, not really new quest, because I'm not going to fight Rama again. Okay, got this heights. And I'm going to traverse that damn annoying thing yet again, as you already know. But if there's no more quests after this, all I have left is a Dryad, and then after that I move on to the rank 3 star missions, you know? So, hmm. Making progress, right? I mean, this is what, part, I think, 6 of the Let's Play? Possibly. Now, I did actually do some research into this game, and it says that it's quite a grind later on in the game. Because of that, if the grinding just takes too much, and I can't keep uploading videos every 12 hours of this Let's Play, I'm gonna have to just, like, start doing another Let's Play while I do this one, too. And kind of just start doing uploads of this Let's Play whenever I can, like, whenever I get a chance to, you know? I think that'll be the best way to do it, because if I... If I just try to, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I'm not going to focus my entire life on this game, is what I'm saying. You know, to, like, to make it absolutely detrimental to, like, have another upload soon. You know? If I can't, then I can't. It'll just take me a few days sometimes, I'll make another upload, and we'll see. I mean, I was also thinking that maybe doing it alongside another Final Fantasy Let's Play. 
like doing another Final Fantasy Let's Play that doesn't require much grinding right now, you know? And then just do that one in the days in which I'm catching up with the grinding in this one. And then eventually, I think I'll still finish this Let's Play before the other Final Fantasy Let's Play. And once I do that, then I'll just go ahead and do, dedicate that one full time. And then it'll be like I did, I finished two Final Fantasy Let's Plays pretty much back to back, you know? Did you just kill somebody? Oh my god, he totally did. Gleaming Ash. Okay, he's not targeting me. That's good. There we go. Let's go and fight Rama for the second time. All right, so at least I, I now know his battle strategy in the beginning, and he does have that shield up, which is freaking annoying, so I'd rather not waste skills there, you know? Yeah, see, he looks pretty beast-like here. It's really interesting, because usually he's just like an old man. Not beast-like at all, you know? See, there's that shield that I'm talking about. Thunderpeel. See, I wonder if I actually have to attack him with this first to get rid of the shield. There we go, it's gone, it's gone. Okay. Oh! It's got me there. Okay, what's up with the camera here? What the heck, seriously? Okay, I'm gonna back off a little bit. Damn, it's actually still... Mm -mm. Okay, I got a crystal surge. I need to see what's available. Defense Void? I don't know what Tom... What is Tomberry Karma? Let's take a look at that, because I'm actually very curious on that. Okay, just keep spamming, keep spamming. Ah, I disappeared during that time. I don't think it actually got me there because of that. Ooh! Paralyzed. Okay. I got a wind magicist, okay. Damn it! Stop warping, dude. We're not warping, but also he, he warps sometimes, but also just does his little annoying thing. Okay, I can't attack. Arrow? Damn it, I paralyzed again. Here's that shield again. Judgment bolt. I'm getting the hell out of there. Okay, it's about halfway dead. My two enemies are two enemies really. My two friends are dead. Um still. Titan trance. What Titan trance? I don't know. But we'll see. I don't really see much of a difference here, but we'll see. Get over here, dude. Hi, ah, I dodged you. I need to run, need to run. Actually, that's, I keep forgetting that that's the AOE move. There's no point in trying to run that because you might as well just take those and keep attacking them. Okay, got some good damage there. Okay, teleported as well. Here comes my friends! Come on, help me, Mandragora. Help me. Rush. Damn it, he paralyzed Mandragora. How dare you! Damn it, he's still hitting me there. Okay. That's not good. That took a lot of damage to me. Freaking judgment bolts. Um, need to do. What about? 
I wanted to do endless link. Oh, I'm probably dead. I didn't heal that much. Oh, and I became invisible. That's what happens, but then I lose it right away when I attack again, which is kind of interesting. Oh no. Wait, it's not coming. Oh, there it is. There it is. Holy shit. Okay, got you. Yeah, Judgment Bolt is very, um, very luck-based in a way to dodge, because it's kind of just like random bolts everywhere, you know? Whereas moves like Diamond Dust, it's not that luck-based, you can actually skillfully dodge it. I mean, I guess the only way to be skillful with Judgment Bolt is to really run, like, really, really far. Because even though they're randomly generated, they do have a limit in terms of range. Level up. Nice. Okay, so what's next? What is next? Nothing except <laughs> to defeat the Dryad, I guess. Well, if you know what that means, we gotta do it. This is in Foster Garden, and I get 1200 gil and Botch's wine? Okay, sure. Sounds like a plan to me. So where's this? Um. Okay, let's go to Debus Heights then. So I need to go to Debus Heights and then go back right away. It seems so. So yeah, let's try. Let's try that out. Unless I go east from here, because there was a way to go east. I did see that. This is Debus Trail though. I don't think this is the right way to go, because... Well, actually... I don't know, let, let's see. No, but that's Lake Philo, so that means it's... Oh my god. Oh, what if I go this way then? What if I actually go east here? Is it, is it still closed? Let's see. No, it's not. It's not closed. There we go. Fast of Forest. Okay, so I went through. I wasn't sure if it was east of the Devis Trail or east of this, but it's east of this. Okay, so now I gotta go through here. What was that? Nothing? Okay. Hardwood. The more centaurs there and this. Or silica. Silica, that reminds me of Sword Art Online. That was shit back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean a few years ago. <laughs> no, I mean, it's still big, especially in video games. It's just that, like, the anime really slowed down, you know? So, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I like it a lot. It's just that it could have been better. Even though I, like, back when I watched it, I was like, Oh yes, Twitter Online is my favorite anime. Wow. Can't believe I said that. No, it, to be honest, it's a good anime, and there's some people out there who, like, really hate it. I think it's, like, cancer or something, and I don't I don't really see why. I mean, sure, you don't have to say it's amazing, because it's probably not amazing to a lot of people. But it's, it's a solid anime, I mean... I don't have a problem with it. Anyway, let's go west now. Boston Gardens, okay, before I keep going. Oh, wonderful. I need to kill you. Okay, you're dead. What you got? Spellcast Iron. Alright, here we go. Time to take on the Dryad boss. This team might actually annihilate me, I don't know. What the hell is this? Oh my god. 
Is this a recurring summon? I don't really know. Drain? Wait, can I see your HP? Oh my god. That's not okay, so you lose targeting whenever you disappear. I just got blinded. That ain't good. Trust Infinity? Oh my god. He doesn't seem to have that much HP though, or she, whatever. But it's basically a law bro that I'm fighting. Oh wait, you're down, you're down. Something just happened. Uh, yeah, Mega Drain, Mega Drain, sure. I guess these moments rest with that. Yeah, no, okay. Good thing it doesn't have that much HP. That's the good thing, as you can see. I'm just being aggressive here, spamming everything that I possibly can. Okay, it's, it went away again. There's something here. First magic. Okay, now it's over there. Also, this place looks like the bottom of that one tree in Crystal Chronicles Crystal Bearers. Hmm. Where you at? What the? Luckily, I'm, I'm out of target for every. What? There's a Malboro. There's a Malboro coming after me. Holy shit. Okay, well. Can you please pop out, dude? Or whatever. Woman? You look like something. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna use boost. Okay. That's why you're like almost dead, kind of. Where'd the Malboro go? There you are. Keep running away. Shit. Okay, you. Seriously? <sighs> Status omen nightmare, man. Get away from me, dude. I don't even know where this freaking boss is. He's over there. Okay. I'm not going to sprint because I need my AP. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Stop being a fucking coward. I hate this. You don't, you don't deserve to be a boss. The fact that you're that much of a coward, man. Oh my god. Dude, this move is so freaking broken. By this point in the game. A thousand needle mode? I just did a thousand... Wow. That move is so amazing by this point in the game. Every attack I do does a thousand damage. That's how I just demolished it in the last few seconds. Jesus. I did it. I did it. That's all that matters, right? That was not a fun boss to fight, I'm gonna be honest. Only because of the stupid status on my night. It's just like, like, who likes fighting Marlboros in Final Fantasy? The answer is no, but if you do... Um, message me and I can actually send you some, some contacts that I know that do physical therapy and just therapy in general, okay? If you do like fighting Marlboros, just message me privately on YouTube. And yeah, because I actually know a friend who does therapy, so I can, I can help you with that. Or not I, but like, they will, but I can refer you to them if you want. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> I keep hearing about your brave exploits, you must be about ready to start using Magisite. Magicite is a special stone containing an Eidolon's will. Using them gives you their mighty power, if only for a moment. They can have quite the effect if you use them right, and I go take the Magicite permit exam. Another permit exam. Once you produce an Eidolon's HP and it's on its last legs, approach it and trigger the Encase Crystal Surge to encase the Eidolon and Magicite. So basically it's getting Explore. summons in this game. Okay. That's also a level 2. Mm-hmm. In case one I do on the Magicite. So whoever I want is what you're saying? Hmm. That's gonna be really interesting. And then this next one, like what the hell is this? Defeat any ten dragons. Well then. 
And then subquests. Okay, well. I don't have any sharp fangs. I guess I don't. It says zero. Oh wait, actually, hold on. What if I... Oh no, I do. My bad. You know what, I'm also gonna learn learn fire with fire mutant. I don't really want that though. I don't know what that means, these learning things, but um I'm gonna report this one as complete. Alright, there we go. Okay, so I am going to end it here. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave like, I appreciate it very much, thank you. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.